speaking in the National Assembly, Kawanjenge argued that the clauses violate international human rights standards. This includes Article 25 of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and Article 25 of the International Covenant of Civil and Political Rights, which emphasize the right of citizens to participate in public affairs and elections. And I believe that the time has come for us to raise above party politics and amend the constitutional provision of Article 47, sub-Article 1E and F, and sub-Article 2. Being informed by the preamble of our Constitution, our founding mothers and fathers, I believe, did not intend to prevent or discriminate against some members of our society by inserting a clause in our Constitution that prevents a certain section to participate freely in national elections in this country. Kawandenge questioned the rationale behind the clauses which require regional council and local authorities, employees and civil servants to resign from their positions before participating in parliamentary elections. He stated that this has led to many talented individuals risking their jobs to enter politics. Kawandenge urged fellow members of parliament to recognize that the constitution as a living document open to amendments that improve the lives of the Namibian people. The motion captured the attention of lawmakers from various political parties. Amendment of the Constitution which affects the lives, rights of a nation must not be lighted. The understanding lies on the emphasis of definition, when are you a member? When are you becoming a member? You don't become a member simply because you are on the list. Africans, it was a wrong interpretation of the people entrusted by this house and all others in Namibia. What are the implications? First implication is this, cabinet can but only be chosen from parliament. Mm. That's one. Even in the instance where the president duly nominates the eight nominees based on expertise, it should still come from parliament. Serafia Nadunya, NBC News, Venduk.